Dear Apple users, you may have noticed that it's always been a trouble to run Linux on a Mac, especially for Wi-Fi connection, video drivers and whatever. So I have this 2013 Retina MacBook Pro which is capable of running Linux, of course, with video acceleration and pretty much everything. Sound is working, everything is working. But there's no Wi-Fi. As you can see, if I open the connection manager, I can open a terminal 2, IW config, IF config. No, there's nothing. No network interfaces are detected. So, how to fix this problem? Because I assure you it's possible to do something about that. First off, I'm gonna connect a compatible Wi Fi USB dongle, which is in my case the Alpha Network Antenna, the model in the description. So, although you might think it's pointless, I assure you it really makes sense to attach a Wi-Fi adapter first. I know, I know. Let's first discover what kind of Wi-Fi card we have in it. There's a command on Linux, which is LSPCI, which lists all of the PCI devices in our computer. So, LSPCI and that's it. Broadcom Corporation BCM4360 Wireless Network Adapter That's my integrated Wi-Fi card Well, you have to know that Broadcom 4360 actually comes with two different chips The 14A4 colon 4360 which is not supported and the variant uh, 43A0 which is supported so let's see we, if we are lucky enough to run Wi-Fi on this MacBook Pro. LSPCI VNN Pipe Grab E-Net. I-Net. That's the... Da, 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 43A0. So yeah, we are lucky enough to install the proprietary WL driver. Uh, we first need to update our repositories. So, app get update. So now, in order to get the property WL drivers installed, uh, we need to first install Broadcom, STA, DKMS and Linux headers for our current kernel version. Uh, the string is a bit tricky, but don't worry because you will find it to copy in the description. Hopefully, we're gonna pipe the uname R command into sed. Just got out some part of the output we don't need. That said, do you mind if I speed up a bit? Yeah, we're gonna make it. Uh, so, do you want to continue? Of course I want to continue. So, the installation should result in something like that. Now we just have to remove some conflicting pre-installed drivers. And we finally load the WL driver. Modprobe slash R, B44, B43, B43 Legacy, SSB, BRM, whatever. And then mode probe WL. That's it. Uh, let's check. Yeah, as you can see now, two network devices are detected. Uh, let's check with IF config WLAN 0 and WLAN 1. That's it. Both Wi Fi connections are seen by the system, so let's try to detach the USB dongle. Not joking here. Just WLAN 1 is left. So let's try to actually connect to a Wi Fi network and let's see what happens. I have a WDWRT modem and uh, yeah, it's just great, you should try it. Uh, I'm not speeding up that part because it really doesn't make any sense. So let's see if it's connecting. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Uh, let's test it out. Ping google.com. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's working. It's perfectly working. We're up and running on 2013, late 2013 actually. MacBook Pro Retina on Linux, and that's it. Just note that thing you might find useful. If you're running Linux on an SD card, it may won't work, I don't know why, but it fails on the kernel model installation. So it's much better to run on USB instead on an SD card. 
Thumbs up if you found that video useful and see you next time guys.